Hi again, Eagle Artist. So, I hope that you've already watched the intro weaving video and the video of the Ghana weaving. So now let's take a look at what your weavings are going to be like. As you can see, they are super beautiful. They can be very big and you can use them <laughs> to create different things like uh, well, just a decoration or a placemat. You could fold it in half and make a little bag. And these are going to be really fun to make and to work with and to use. So, um, notice also the designs that we could have on our weavings. And today we're going to be planning the weaving design. So, it could be, for example, like this symmetrical, same on both sides. Um, it could be, for example, like this one with a pattern or uh, <laughs> the pom-poms we're going to do later, but with also symmetry, the same on both sides here. It could also have um, shapes. So like this looks more like the kente cloth, right? So I'm going to be showing you in the Zoom later on as well how you could actually separate your weaving into sections and have shapes. So basically, you can design it however you want using patterns, using shapes, using symmetry. And um, then we're going to have a really cool design ready for next week. So when you do your color plan, take a look here at the two main things to keep in mind. I already talked a little bit about the style. It could be a pattern, it could have symmetry, same on both sides, it could have shapes. But also let's think about your colors. So we might have a kind of color contrast like in the kente cloth. For example, here we had really warm, bright uh, yellows put together with that black or this cool green and that really made it look really fun and awesome like it has contrast here again so many colors together uh, like a warm red and yellow plus a cool purple or gray or green so I would really uh, recommend you to try a combination between warm and cool colors or between light and dark colors if you need a little quick review, um, warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, and cool are usually green, blue, purple, turquoise, things like that. So if you combine, for example, here, warm red and yellow with a green, a cool color, or here with yellow with blue, those are really nice combinations, a warm with a cool or here like we have a light with a dark. So think about that. And uh, that's about it. So think about your color plan, warm and cool, and a style plan um, of the decoration or the design. Here it's a little um, bit about pattern. You could have just stripes with different patterns like A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C type of pattern. Um, you could create basically any pattern that you would like or you could also do the shapes. And here it's a little reminder about symmetry. Symmetry is when I could divide it in half and it would be the same on both sides. Okay. So um, there's going to be more about how to build the weaving next week. But for this week, you're going to want to design the color plan and the pattern or the symmetry or what style you're going to do. Okay, so now that you have your style plan and your color plan, what else do you need for next week? Well, definitely you're going to want um, a piece of cardboard. That is what we're going to use to hold the weaving while we make it. And this 
kind of thick cardboard, like a cardboard box, like an Amazon box or something, um, is better than the cardboard from, for example, a cereal box. So if you can find a nice thick cardboard, um, you just need a rectangle, which is about the size of how big you want your weaving, okay? So uh, a piece of cardboard and some string or yarn. It's also possible to use um, fabric that you cut into strips, ribbons, um, other types of things. This one there is a ribbon. So, um, but string definitely or anything that you could use to create your weaving, collect those and have those ready for next week. All right, so I'm looking forward to seeing your plans and to start weaving with you next week. Have a great week.